Huh. Yeah. Maybe All right, we're getting ready to go into the air fryer. Uh, this is what we got. And I believe this was just two steaks. It's all the more steaks this was. So I got three trays out of three steaks. Or out of two steaks. That's my marinade that I got left over. And I'm going to see, I'm going to keep a hold of it. And see how it goes. I made some bacon jerky last night. For the first time and did it pretty fucking good I glazed the dick out of it I uh I mean it's, it's not bad it's really not bad it's a little hard to chew but that's you know it's jerky oh it's not like super hard to chew or anything I can chew it up without any fucking teeth so it ain't that bad uh yeah it turned out really good I put a lot of sweet shit on it it's like a sweet bacon pretty fucking awesome really uh but this isn't gonna be sweet this is gonna be like regular bacon hey, yeah regular jerky here no pretty excited to get it started because i've never made venison jerky before and if i have it's been a long time i can't I, honestly i can't remember the last time i did it if i if, if i've ever done it i don't think i have it's a long process. It takes like six to eight hours to do this. Yeah, this is my first go here. It's so weird, you gotta do that. You gotta turn it on, turn the light on, then you can open up and the light will come on. Yeah, this will be the First little patch of it. Still chewing on that one little piece of bacon. So good, so juicy. We go. Dehydrate. Six hours. And Sixty-five. I don't know. I'm always back and forth on this part. See you in six hours, bitch. Nah, the bacon jerky is really good. The leftover, I mean, it was in the. It's got honey and brown sugar. A little bit of hickory smoke in it. But it was easy to make. It took like four hours to do. Might have been I'll leave it in a little longer than what I did, but. Ah, it's good. I can package it up and freeze it and save it for later. Or, yeah, put like two pieces, two or three pieces. Or I might even just go through and cut it all up with a pair of scissors. Cut it up in like little chunks. And put it in a Ziploc bag and call it good. Oh, uh, well. That's my jerky adventures. I like this thing. It's, I make steaks and chicken and pork chops all kinds of shit in here made french fries in it they were decent has like this rotisserie tumbler thingy right there's a rotisserie thing you just hit the button for the rotisserie like it'll, it'll rotisserie it's pretty cool but yeah there you go Oops. come back when she's done <laughs> i think it's done just pulled a piece out. And I'm gonna tell you, it is fucking awesome.
Uh, here's the final result. I believe it's done. We're going to call it three and a half hours. 165 degrees. I got it spread out pretty good. Yeah, I'm calling it. It's good enough. I like it a little chewy. I don't like it extra hard, extra crispy. I might put the other stuff on tonight too. I'll run some up to my dad. I'll fuck all that.